Hello subscribers and unsubscribers and welcome to Stellaris. This is not going to be an actual series I want to note, it's just going to be a couple of episodes. Uh, mostly just because I feel like recording a couple episodes of this. So don't expect to have like this be a weekly series or anything, at least not right now. Uh, maybe in the future. Um, I'm going to be playing as a custom race that I made. However, they are a custom race that I made via a mod method rather than using this method that was used to create these guys. These two up here, which was just using the normal empire creation method. Uh, the reason for that is actually because I wanted to have a uh, empire description stuff, which you currently cannot have to my knowledge unless it's like hidden in here. Yeah, no. You currently cannot have like empire descriptions and custom start screens uh, for empires created using the create new empire method. You only can have that if you create one via the mod method which uses a bunch of different files. This one was made using somebody else's mod as the base to uh, actually create it because using the actual normal method did not really work for me. Uh, I could not get it to work creating the files myself, but I managed to get it working by using somebody else's. These guys are based off of the Galactic Empire from the um, novel series whose creator, I can't remember his name is, it also doesn't help that he's Japanese, so I'd probably butcher his name to a degree if I even tried uh, to pronounce it, and even if I remembered it. but. Uh, yeah, he created a series called Legend of the Galactic Heroes, which I actually personally enjoyed. So I created these guys in an attempt to sort of be like them. It's not 100% accurate, because I don't know if I'd actually consider them to be collectivist in the sense of what this ethos means. But I was like, well, it's probably the closest in my opinion, because they're not really spiritualist. In fact, if I go in here... Um, I wouldn't really call them xenophobes because the only actual species in the series is humans, so you can't really say they got an issue with aliens in the sense of actual aliens. Of course, you could say they have an issue with their um, rivals that they call the Free Planets Alliance, but those guys are also humans, so I figured probably not xenophobes. I wouldn't call them individualists. I don't know if I'd call them really materialists. Or, they're sure as hell not pacifists. Uh, and I wouldn't really call them xenophiles. And I wouldn't call them spiritualists. So I basically said, okay, make them fanatic militarists and collectivists. Because to me, that was the closest thing. In my opinion, at least. And because I'm going to be doing a series with these guys, I'm going to actually have their enemies selected as a force to spawn. Now these guys I don't think are actually set up properly necessarily to more accurately represent those, the actual Free Planets Alliance. In fact, I would prefer for these guys, um, not for their, but for their, um, con the idea behind them. I'm trying to remember, uh, their personality, I think is the term that the game would actually use for it. Uh, for them to be labeled as Democratic Crusaders. So I'm going to have to figure out what they're labeled as, as fanatic individualists and xenophiles, and adjust these to actually create them to be labeled as Democratic Crusaders. Because I want them to be like that, especially since some of the people that they had in charge in the actual series, okay, yeah, they definitely seem like it. And I'll keep the Roman Empire as a, if it wants to spawn, it could spawn. Though I think these guys would actually have to be at least basic militarists to be labeled as um, democratic crusaders, but we'll see. Either way, we're going to be playing as these guys, and both of them have the slow learners trait because, honestly, their leaders don't necessarily seem to learn all that well, for the most part. So, I figured slow learners is probably the most accurate one, and this screen will show up again. This stuff here will show up again, so I'm not going to read it right now. Uh, but I'll have a link in the description to the novel, since Viz Media is currently translating them into English. Um, and if you use the links that I have in the description, uh, I'll get commission on those sales, just to let you guys know. Um, but yeah, so Viz Media announced they're doing the first three volumes guaranteed, while the other seven volumes of the series will depend on sales. I don't know if they plan to do the... Uh, four 
volumes of side stories plus the five separate sold side stories that aren't part of any volume I don't know if they have plans to do any of those but either way let's just go ahead and hop in so we're gonna play on a large 800 star spiral 4 we're gonna set the AI empires to 20 set the advanced AI starts to 5 Hopefully the game won't decide to screw me over and have the Free Planets Alliance spawn right next to me and start as an advanced AI start. That would kind of piss me off a little bit, but we'll see. So, dialogue here is quite simple. The Galactic Empire is an interstellar nation which encompasses much of eh, most of the human colony worlds within the galaxy. Ruled by a Kaiser, the Empire has been, for much of its history, an autocratic monarchy structured around a rigid European-style feudal system. The Galactic Empire was established in 310 UC by Rudolf von Goldenbaum, the first emperor of the Goldenbaum dynasty. Its flag is the white crest of the Goldenbaum dynasty, a stylized crowned two-headed eagle on a black background. The seat of government is based on the planet Odin in the Imperial Palace of... I'm going to butcher that name, so I'm not going to try. Its currency is the Imperial Mark, and I noticed I forgot a space there. I definitely screwed something up, so I'll fix that myself. But let's begin. So... Uh, I forgot to change the leader name, so we're going to have uh, non-German leaders, despite the fact that uh, in the series, like, literally everyone in the... Uh, Galactic Empire is German. But, oh well, can't really do anything about that. Let's see, I want you to give me faster research. Go ahead and research the colony ship, because who knows when it'll pop up again if I don't research it right now. And... Ah... Uh, Let's go with the powered exoskeletons, because that'll give us a 5%, uh, plus 5% to our mineral gathering uh, throughout the Empire. So we'll go ahead and tell the GIS Ptolemy Batal to go ahead and start researching things in our system, and we'll send our combat fleet out to explore the sort of direct neighboring systems and then come back. And our construction ship will just sit on its ass doing nothing for a while. Oh, we actually got some decent... Well, we actually have some mineral deposits, which is not something I normally have happen in my experience with this game. The game likes to screw me over with minerals at the beginning. My homeworld very rarely ever has mineral tiles. But I've actually got uh, four or three mineral tiles plus one that can be either energy credits or minerals depending on what building I build on it. So I put a power plant on this tile I'll only get the energy credits but if I put a mining network I'll only get the minerals. And depending on how happy my people are I get some slight bonuses to this as well. Okay I got a food tile here. I'll probably go ahead and actually build you a hydroponics farm there so we can gather food very quickly. And you guys might be hearing my dog snoring in the background. And since nothing really happens in the early game, I'm actually going to likely tell the game... I've got a new area. Yeah, see? In this actual series, you there's no way in hell you would have a crown prince who zoo. Because, yeah, Asians... Again, everybody in the series is German. At least the nobility is... So the very least, they need to fix the regal titles to only allow um, essentially German names. Which is quite easy. I just gotta get off my ass and actually select the listing, but that doesn't really matter to the end. We're gonna eat. We use energy weapons because that's what they use in the series for the most part. Situation updated. Okay, we already encountered some alien life. Oh, of course, three space amoebas. Interesting. Um, clearly, it's a bad idea to engage them right now, so we won't be. 
and I'll be playing the game on fast. I'll probably actually switch it up to very fast in a couple seconds as we explore. But as we... Oh, and that's a terrible starting spot. I hope we don't get the Praetorian Scourge and Endgame Crisis because, knowing my luck, they spawn right on my home world once that happens. But I've got like 150 years or so to build up. Anomaly found. There's no guarantee that we'll get them anyway. Got a level 2 anomaly here. Which, because our guy is only level 1, he gets an additional 25% chance to his failure risk. So that's a terrible idea, for the most part. And I don't appear to have a lot of continental worlds. Go ahead and explore, explore a little further out. If you don't mind, because that... I'm not a big fan of that. I've only got one system here with a continental world in it. Uh, no, that's the tropical. Where's the continental? Okay, continental is smack dab right next to the sun. And yet another uh, amoeba. And this one's only one amoeba. Uh, not right now. I'll let you level up a little bit more before I send you out there. And we're going to kick the game up to very fast. Construction complete. Okay, Odin has finished building the hydroponics farm, which is great. I'm going to tell you to build a mining network there. We have gotten no minerals yet on our home world. What System the hell? Survey complete. Wow. Not a single mineral deposit on the home world. What the hell? Okay, send him over there. I've got Desert World, Conti oh good, Continental over there. That's probably where I'll build the colony. You go survey over there. Situation log updated. Uh, okay, sure, yeah. Begin Habitable World Survey. Situation no, log no, 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 updated. No. I want to take a look what's over here. Uh, advanced mining drones and their station. That wouldn't require too much of a build up. Actually, you know what? Survey over there first. Ah, oh, well, we got 55 months, actually. Just go ahead and survey over there first. And then you can survey there afterwards. This is where I'll be building my colony, more than likely. Oh, damn, it's a 24 tile. The maximum number of tiles is 25, so... That's actually a pretty nice planet. And he leveled up. Wonderful. Wow. Doesn't have any, uh... Planet modifiers to it, but it... It is a large planet. We're only missing one tile, but I can't do anything about that. Uh, where would I build a colony ship, though? Because there is an adjacency bonus for food, energy credits, and minerals. So you normally want to try to maximize where you place these things. But you only get the food one, I think, once you get off of using the starting um, colony building. Once you level that up to whatever it is afterwards. That's when you get the adjacency bonus to food. In fact, you may not even get any adjacency bonuses without upgrading it first, but still. So, probably right here. Two blank tiles that I can build build whatever I want there, and I get a food and energy there, or minerals there. And of course, building it here should give me the resources on this tile since it's food. Complete. Which would definitely contribute to the colony growing fairly quickly. Right, you guys are in orbit around the planet. Anomaly found. Uh, leave it be for now. I want you to be at least level 3 before you start trying to mess with those anomalies. Because if you fail, who knows what could happen. System survey complete. I would like to minimize the chances of you screwing everything up. Yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot of... 360 for this, while it's 240 for my other options. So, of course, this is going to take a lot longer, especially since I'm only bringing in five each. Though I do, luckily, actually have a plus 10% to the research of this, because it's in the same... Uh, or it matches the expertise of the scientist in charge. Okay, that's an 80% habitability. System survey complete. 
Uh, you have no modifiers either, of course. Go over there. This is desert world, so those are all going to be crap for me at the end of the day. Once we get the colony ship, we'll be able to start going. Until we get the colony ship, we're not going to be doing a whole lot. Uh, how about you go ahead and build a mining station there for me? And actually, no, I think I'm going to start building up my military just a tad. Just in case. So, okay. And it looks like we got another alien race nearby. I'm not going to research that because of that. I'm not actually sure where they jumped in from. Hell, I don't even know what they're using. But I'm going to assume probably warp. So they probably jumped in from this area over here. Which means they could be pretty much anywhere within this area here. So basically anywhere within this nebula region they could be in. And nebulas put penalties to travel speed when you're in interstellar flight. Anomaly found. Leave it be for now. Until you're level 3, don't even think of touching anomalies. I don't want you to screw things up. Of course, actually, I want to know. I could go over here with my fleet and blow up their uh, science ship here. I think that's a science ship. Uh, but that would also piss them off pretty much permanently. Which could be fine. System survey. Except for if they're superior to me. So, I'm not going to do that. Well, at least I'm going to keep minimizing trying to piss people off until I at least know about them. And I don't want to contact them. I'd rather focus on trying to build up my stuff. Also, go ahead and build one more Corvette so you at least have six. I don't like having five. I prefer even numbers, not odds. Research complete. Construction there we go. complete. That's great. And yeah, go ahead and research missiles. So now we get a plus five percent to our mineral gathering. Which at the end of the day doesn't actually mean too much here. Up. Oh, are you level three? You are level three. So now I would let you maybe research mess around complete. with those if I feel so inclined. Uh, let's get the physics. Ah, uh, yeah, let's get the physics lab. Once you're done surveying, that's the other systems. I'll let you go ahead and start messing around with the anomalies. So those guys are the gamma aliens. So I can do alpha and beta fine. Those are just going to be the um, system survey complete. Beta, I think, is the droids, and Alpha would be the amoebas. Literally nothing in this system. Nothing at all. No colonizable planets, nothing mineable, absolutely nothing. Wow. Uh, this is actually looking to be a kind of crappy start. Found. Oh no, that's level 2. Don't mess around with that. You can mess around with that once you hit level 4, at least. Also, actually, what's your trait? Survey speed increase. That's not exactly useful to me. At least I don't think it is. Five months and we've already got the minerals necessary to build a colony ship. As long as I don't build found. anything else. Oh, you're definitely not messing with that one. That's level four. Uh, once we have the colony ship, we'll go ahead and colonize Briskall 3. Which will change its name because I do have a list of Research continental complete. world names, though most of them are the default uh, names. Uh, go ahead and get the bio lab. You build a colony ship, and nobody on our home world has diverged yet, ethnic or um, ethics wise, so System we can survey. stay as complete. we are. No, mining network. Thank you. Also, now you can mess around with the anomaly. Sensors pick up rhythmic movement on the hellish surface of New Jerusalem. Right over here, Molten World. Sure. 
As long as you don't open an extra dimensional gateway to hell, I'm fine with that. I don't think there's any event like that, but honestly, I would not be too surprised if somebody makes one. Uh, that's our colony ship. I have no other cores or section things. Oh, here we go. The measured pounding observed from the orbit is the motion of immense and ancient geothermal extractors breathing their last. Built and then abandoned at some point in the distant past, the vast batteries of disintegrating machinery have been pumping up superheated fluids from the planet's core ever since. Their storage capacitors are all broken or leaking, but some energy can still be siphoned from them. Excellent. That's not a whole lot. I've had times where it gave me like a thousand. But I think that's also because I had a higher uh, energy cap. Currently I'm capped out at 2500 energy credits. Uh, let's see, there are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this habitable world. Really? Habitable? Oh, it's a desert world. Okay, technically it is habitable, but it's only 20% for our species, so we sure as hell ain't going there anytime soon. Uh, but go ahead. I'll let you survey that and figure out what it's all about. Colony ship almost done. About three more months. Once it's built up, we'll colonize Briskall 3. Construction complete. There we go. So, Briskall 3, colonize the GIS Hope. Sure, we'll go with that name. And yeah, we'll build it there. That does throw me down into a slight energy deficit. So, let's try and offset that a little bit by building a couple mining stations on some energy credit producing planets both of which are gas giants and you failed the signs of cyprix activity on the vicinity of orcom fung 3 turned out to be false leads science officer oliver gerald gerard has asked to continue the search with the gis Ptolemy elsewhere Okay, so you screwed everything up. There are signs of activity, but okay, another ancient precursor race. The first Imperial Colony. Our colony ship has gently touched down at the mouth of a large river delta on one of the several continents that can be found on the horizon. Okay, we'll name it Horizon. This temperate forested region will serve as an ideal first landing site. The ship has been permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement, and its reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first Imperial city on an alien world. A great day for the Imperial. And yeah, we're still losing some money because my guy hasn't finished building the freaking mining stations. Alien Situation log updated. Oh, what's this? Got a new alien race. Oh, it's those space whales. And I know they look nothing like whales. They look more like squids, but they are called space whales. At least once I investigate them. And you can fight them if you want. But the game will annoy you. <laughs> Because every time they jump into one of your systems, you'll be told, Hostile Fleet Incoming. Or whenever it picks them up on sensors and when they enter one of your systems, Hostile Fleet In System. <sighs> You're crap at this, Oliver. You know that? You failed again to find Precursor. Oh, what's that? Research complete. That would... Oh, what the... How dare you? Actually, no, go to the engineering facility. Also, now we have missiles, and does the game think? Yes, the game does believe that I'm better off putting at least one missile on my ships. So we'll put one missile on our ships. That's the Lubeck class. Also, let's make our transports a little cheaper. Thank you very much. They don't need to have a medium fission reactor. Because they got nothing on them. Oh, okay, the Amoeba decided not to fly to us. That's fine with me. Uh, nope. It's a 22. 
Okay, New Jamestown. Efforts to map the surface of this moon have identified a strange mountain formation in the southern hemisphere. It does not appear to have formed naturally. Okay, now, this one I'm sure you won't fail, right, Oliver? You failed to find the precursors. Are you going to fail to map this strange mountain on New Jamestown? Knowing you, that answer is probably yes. Which is a shame. Also, I think I might want to build a couple more ships. Actually, here... Uh, oh, okay. We have received a transmission from the Hattie Saras. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open, and ho all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. Greetings from the Hadam Nation. We are a peaceful nation, justly ruled by our beloved King Kul Arng I. Whatever grievances might arise between our people in the future, we hope they can be settled through dialogue rather than violence. Okay, uh, well, you guys are absolutely hideous, so I would probably purge you if I owned your planets right now. Of course, also it depends. Oh, no, you like arid worlds, I believe those are, so maybe I wouldn't purge you. Because my guys hate arid worlds. Also, we will fight for our right to exist, Saddam. A first alien encounter. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time has been received with mixed feelings by our populace. This confirms what we had long suspected. We are not alone in this galaxy. Each new alien species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. These particular Xenos have a high level of technology similar to our own, indicating that we achieved spaceflight at roughly the same time. This changes everything. Also, you guys aren't exactly fond of me. You don't like my purging policy. Oh, and you're fanatic collectivists. And you're also pacifists. Which means you're not happy about war. Which means I can piss your people off if I declare a war on you. Of course, it's not a good... Uh, for now, we'll establish an embassy with you just to improve relations. Uh, you only got one colony. You only got nine population. Wow, only nine population. What the hell? Also, let's share maps. Uh... Uh, due to their personality, they say hell no to those. They are a harmonious collective. Harmonious collectives are collectivist societies where the citizens are devoted to the state without the need for co cohesion. They tend to keep to themselves but are not averse to trading, aka they're still not going to give me their damn star charts. Okay, and Brisk All 3 is almost ready. Four months and then we'll have a new colony up and operational and we'll actually be able to do something with it <sighs> Oliver if you don't stop failing I'm afraid I might just have to go ahead and fire you I think I get more usefulness out of somebody else the unnatural mountain formation that was found on New Jerusalem turned out to be quite natural after all. Science officer Oliver Gerard feels that it would be an unfortunate waste of resources for the GIS Ptolemy to remain there for even a second longer. Unfortunate. Also, I noticed that now I suddenly have some new stuff here. Oh, and the birth of space piracy. Rebels and dissidents fleeing from Odin have founded an outlaw space fleet on the, at the fringes of our space by modifying several civilian vessels into warships, calling themselves the Wild Riders. These terrorists are spreading chaos and fear among our civilian shipping lanes. Their lives have been rendered forfeit by the informity of their crimes. Order must be restored at any costs. Pirates, we don't need that scum. Which also means... Build more Corvettes, because I think they have something Colorado like 147. Oh no, only 111. Never mind then. I should probably get you an actual leader. And they're all crap. Okay, we'll go with Admiral Salvador Vasquez. Oh, damn it, never mind. Okay, I was gonna say, are you gonna go and kill 
those guys is a uh, ship but no no they won't research complete oh, and we got the physics lab uh, go and get some better power plants if you don't mind oh yes and horizon finished completely forgot about you horizon oh yes basic basic hydroponics farm over there thank you very much So now the first fleet is moving in to crush the pirate fleet. Station under attack. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah, yeah, they got missiles. I don't have missiles actually on my ships right now. I forgot to upgrade them. So they're gonna get some shots in while my ships try to move in. And you can't evade missiles. Missiles have 100% hit chances. Well, they are able to evade my lasers. But... They are... Well, they were outnumbered, and I started out with a little bit more firepower than them, so I was able to take a couple more losses, but I definitely lost quite a bit. More ships than I would have liked. Okay, you guys are to all merge together. Thank you very much. Science ship, get over here and research their debris. And do they have a pirate base somewhere? I'm going to assume it's an Orcom Fung over there. But I don't actually have any way of confirming that. Construction complete. Uh, let's go ahead and clear out. Okay, I don't have the um, minerals to do that. I was going to try and start clearing out all that stuff, but never mind. Oh wow, New Jerusalem. Five engineering research, okay. Go ahead and upgrade over there if you don't mind. And get the game back up to fastest speed. And if the game wouldn't annoy me, I would definitely kill the space whales. Because I don't need no Debris space whales. Analyzed. Construction complete. So, armor and some basic research. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. And by upgrading, they automatically get healed. Debris analyzed. Okay, some more armor. Okay, you can probably go to that system now. The amoeba, I don't think, was staying there. I think it was just passing through. And now you guys have decided to send me... Yeah, you, there's no way you're going to accept an alliance with me ever. Okay, that's a shame. But, oh well. Nothing I can really do about it. Yeah, Oliver, you're crap at anomalies. I, I'm never gonna have you. Anomaly found. Don't. Somebody else will do it. Somebody Research who's actually competent complete. at doing that kind of stuff. Also, what do you guys have? I mean, technically I would say the mountain is more important because then I can build another hydroponics farm there and gather three food once somebody's actually on the tile so let's go with learning how to clear mountain ranges don't ask me how you clear a mountain range uh, I would assume at Anomaly best found. maybe a nuke Research from orbit complete. Um, leave it be for now Select new research. I could go and get armor. I could get some better weapons or some better missiles. Uh, or I could go and get some defense platforms that I'll never use. Oh, yeah, I use a defense platform sometimes. I don't know why. Fortresses are better, but even then, they're still crap for the most part. So, no. Let's go and get an improved spaceport. Increase our mineral storage capacity and allow us to upgrade our spaceports. 
and get the Corvette assembly yards, which decrease the cost of building Corvettes there and increases build speed. You are unemployed. Don't worry, my good sir, you will not be unemployed for long. Once I can get around to actually building what's needed. Uh, how about you go? Uh, actually, no, I remember what was in that system. It was three amoebas with like 400 something firearm or firepower skill or military power, whatever. Also, this part has probably gone on for about 30 minutes now, so I'm going to end this part here. As always, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, goodbye and farewell.